I am going to show you my first October camp project, and it's still September, so I love that when I start getting my camp projects done ahead of time. Um, it's going to be from the Toil and Trouble Suite, um, but it's not anything to do with Halloween, and I know that you can see that when you um, see the title screen for my projects, but I'm going to show you these little baker's boxes, and you may have missed them, especially if you don't make Halloween projects, um, because you may have just skipped over these pages. But don't skip over the pages because sometimes even um, like on a suite like this, there's things in the suite that don't have anything to do with the rest of the suite. For example, the black foil sheets of paper. I've used those on a birthday card so far. Um, this black glittered organdy ribbon, beautiful, beautiful. And um, it would be pretty on wedding cards. And I know I'm going to pull it out when I do my New Year's card. I do a New Year's card every year at my December camp. Um, so that will be definitely on our New Year's card. Um, and these Baker's Boxes, um, they're so cute. They have nothing to do with Halloween, except for the fact that they made the Halloween treats go in them for this. So I am going to show you um, how I made them into a little football treat. But again, they don't have to be football treats. They come to you like this. I have opened them up and then you just, they flip together easy, which you'll see in a minute. Um, there's a right side and a wrong side. You can tell because the inside has the window sheet so you can see your treat through it, um, but it's glued on this side. So the outside, which is the decorated side, you want to flip that down. So I am going to put this here. I have some retired washi tape, which you just want to pick a design that you're not likely to use on a card or retired if you're a demonstrator. And I'm going to pull it a little bit longer um, than the places I'm going to have it mask. Because it's a mask, it doesn't matter what the design is. So it's going to act as a mask and it's also going to act to hold my um, paper in place as I sponge it. Um, so with these little boxes, I'm going to make a football design. So if you're in the US, you know football season's just started in all aspects of our life. So we've got high school. So you could use these as you tailgate for your high school. You could use them for fundraisers for your high school. If you are cheerleaders or if you are band boosters or if you're part of the football team or even if you are um, like soccer, little league soccer or you know, Little League football. If you are doing fundraisers, they'd be great to package up some homemade treats and do as fundraisers. Or um, homecoming, my daughter, her and her friends used to get ready over here so I could have packaged up some stuff that we get ready for the dance and I would have food and snacks and this would have been a great way to package up some really quick, quick really cute little treats. She was also on the golf team and I always made caramel corn, that was my thing which this um, dessert's gonna, or the snack I'm gonna put on in here is really similar to caramel corn. You could tailgate for your um, college game or just if you're gonna have people over to your house um, because it's a great way to have a single serve of a dessert. But you could also put sandwiches or chips or any kind of thing like that in it. So I have, this is Garden Green so I've just opened it up and this is our sponge roller. And I used green on this before, a different shade of green, but these um, refills pop in and out. So you're just gonna take your sponge roller and roll back and forth, ink it up. It will mean, if you make very many of these, that you're definitely going to need an ink refill because you're gonna need to re-ink your, your ink pad. But I went with green because it's obviously the color of the football field. So if you are in the United Kingdom or Australia, you could do these for the Grand Final. You could do them for World Cup. Um, but they would make fabulous fundraisers. So if you are in the PTA or if you are Team Mom, think about all the ways that you could do these to sell. I'm a Colts fan, so I'm going to go with Colts colors at the end when I decorate the rest of it up. But don't let that limit you to your color, just switch the color in your mind for whatever your team is. Then also think if you were doing a stamp camp or if you're doing girls, having girls come over to your house for card making, you could package up 
um, a full little box of treats for everybody so they could have all of their treats at their table at their spot and then if you switch spots then they could just take their treats spot to spot with them because the size of these is great and they're a super sturdy little box so I'm just sponging these on so if you just passed right on by that Halloween page pick it up and go right back on over there but there are so many ways in our catalog that you can find things if you are somebody who has is in charge of fundraising that you could do some quick fundraisers because you could get um, you could get your cheerleaders if you're like in a little little league team or you could get your little football players to help you sponge these and then you could make the treats and fill them and then sell them to grandparents it's so much better than some of the catalog offerings that are out there for fundraisers so I'm just sponging this on and you can see that the washi tape's doing a great job of just holding it in place. And you don't need a super dark coating of this. I will say, if you're thinking these would be great for the Super Bowl, they will be great for the Super Bowl if you have a Super Bowl party at your house. But the holiday catalog will have retired by then. Um, so a lot of times these kind of items don't carry over and they will have retired by then. So if you're thinking, oh, I'd love to do that, if you host a Super Bowl party, then you just need to make sure that you order these in November. You can order them in December, but I know how our, our Decembers go, especially as moms. Sometimes we get so busy with all of our other responsibilities in December. You ju just don't want to forget because if they're gone in January, they'll be gone but they would be super fun um, for a Super Bowl party. And you could do them in the opposing teams, whoever it ends up being. I don't think it will be our Colts, but you never know. You know, some of us older people still relive the glory days of Peyton. And we love Andrew, but we don't have... Um, we just don't have the team, I don't think, that will make it to the Super Bowl. But we can watch somebody else play. Okay, so I've got that all inked up. If you get it on the window sheet, which this time it doesn't look like I did. The first time I was not very careful, and I got it all over my window. And I just took a tissue and a little bit of water, and it just wiped right off the window sheet. So I've got that there, and I'm going to move it aside for just a second while I do my stamping. And let that dry. Now, um, we don't have any football stamps in our catalog. So I thought, well, I'm just gonna get some good words then. So I took out my holiday catalog and there were no words that appealed to me. Um, so I found this and it says party time. This is our happy birthday gorgeous. And that was, that was good. I liked party time. So I got um, blueberry bushel. Again, I went with Colts colors. So whatever your team colors is, we're blue and white. So I only have one color. My high school was purple and white. Um, my daughter's college was red and black. Um, so I thought about trying to do that, but you know, when you go with the black, then the red and black was kind of eh, and they don't have a football team anyways. Um, so I thought, well, that's silly to do that. So I just decided to go back with Colts and blue and white. But if you're fortunate and your team has two colors, then that's a little bit more fun. So I have the party time stamp. I have got green ink on me, which happens sometimes when you sponge. And I'm gonna use the circle punch, so you wanna make sure you don't wanna get too close to the edge. So there we go, party time. And you may have um, some other stamps that the words work for what you want to say. If I was going to uh, make this ahead of time with thought about it, then I might have looked at the stamps to see exactly what they said. But then this was sitting here. And as it was sitting here, I thought, oh, well, that kind of looks like a football. And this kind of looks like a football. But with this one, it has the dot. So I was going to have to go back and color it in. And with this one, I was going to have to be real careful on that leaf not to get the stem. So then I saw this tiny little 
leaf. And I thought, well, I wonder how that will look like a football if I stamp it in my new favorite color, if you watched my video from yesterday, because this was still sitting here, Cajun Craze. So look at this. If you just take this little itty bitty leaf, and I love when our, our stamps do something that is not intended to be done. So at first, when you're stamping it like this, it looks like a leaf. It does not look like a football, but that's okay. Because when you add it to the box, and in just a second when I show you what I'm gonna do, it's gonna look like a football. So you just want some random ones. And if you were going to um, make a bunch of these, I would pop the circles out first, but since I'm just gonna do one right now, I take my two inch circle punch. I pop this out. If you have trouble with your punches not popping things out, it's probably because you punch too close to the edge of the paper. If ever you punch too close to the edge, the paper doesn't have enough give left to it. So be careful of that because sometimes people tell me their punches don't work and then when we figure out what's going on with them, it's because they're too close to the edge. So now I'm going to take my blend, my black blend, and that little tiny tip and draw some lines on it. Actually, I should, um, and then draw some little lines this way. Just so I have... The nice thing is, is because it's um, not really a real football shape, it could be an Aussie Rules football, it could be a rugby football, because you know, it's just a shape. <laughs> so it works for any of our footballs, which is nice, because it's a leaf, but we're not gonna tell anybody. It's an artsy football, because we're artists, you know? Um, so I'm gonna take my paper piercing pad, and may take your pick tool, I'm going to punch a big hole here, and then this should be dry enough now. It doesn't take it very long to dry, but I was trying to avoid getting any more green ink on my hands. And then this is fun. This is like when you paint at home and you finally get, you know, your walls dry and you get to rip that paint off the bottom. And it's just so satisfying to have the the crisp white. Isn't that fun? Does that not look like a football thing? And I'm thinking you could do the same thing for baseball. I'm not quite sure how you could pull off a golf one, but I'm gonna think about it. You know, if my daughter was in golf still, she golfed in high school and then she golfed in college. So if she was still playing, I would have been thinking about it, but you know, she doesn't play anymore. And she coached in high school for a bit, but she's back in school at night getting her master's. So we're taking a golf um, sabbatical, I guess, as a family. So my youngest, one of my younger nephews plays soccer. He just had his very first game ever. So I'm sure there's other fields you could come up with. A baseball diamond. There's other other things that you could do. But I was just thinking football because we had football yesterday and we had our favorite, one of our favorite football snacks. So I have some to put in it. But there you go, I've got my football. Then to snap these together, I love when stamp, Stampin' Up! makes these super simple boxes for us. You just take all the score lines and fold them up. And then this front one right here is one of the ones that snaps together. So once everything's folded, it just goes together. And then I did take my fuse, which normally if I use my fuse on these videos, I apologize because it's my favorite adhesive and it's the strongest of our adhesives. Um, and usually I say, you can't get it anymore, but guess what? You can, at least for the time being, because fuse, um, offered Stampin' Up! some surplus, and it's currently available on our my clearance corner. So if you go to Sherry, C-H-E-R-I, 
www.stampinup.net, you can get it and it's super cheap. So they have cartridges and they have refills right now. So I don't know how long it will be there, but especially for a project like this, um, where you want a little bit to make sure your snack or food's not gonna fall out, I like the, um, I shouldn't have been looking up at you and showing off my fuse while I was talking. But because this paper's a little glossy, it pulls back up. There we go. I um, have quite a few fuses, um, but I bought some more today once I found out that we had it. And then these things here. How cute is that? Is that just not the bomb.com? Super, super cute. Is that, it's just cute. It came to me because it was at Target. You know who doesn't just go to Target to buy stuff they never knew they needed? And this is one of those things that I didn't know I needed. Um, but I saw some candy and when I saw it, I'm like, that has to go in a baker's box and it has to go into my football party mix. So see these, these plop together really well. But look at the size before I fill it with my stuff. That size is just great. So you could put um, like a fun little sandwich. You could put some chips. You could put, if you put it in a, a baggie, you could put um, several different things in there. Now, if I was going to make these ahead of time, I would probably put it in one of our cello bags and like tie it so it was fresh. If you were going to make these in the morning and take them in the afternoon I would just put it straight in the box so depending on how long because it's not airtight so that's a decision you would have to make like how long it's gonna be in there if you're making them Super Bowl morning for the Super Bowl afternoon then they are fine like this think about like if you were having um, a party and you wanted toppers you could just sit these here like if you were doing um, a salad bar or a taco bar these could just be your serving bowls how cute would that be just put these out on the table and this could be where you put your serving stuff in it because they could be disposable. Um, you would spend more money to go to the store and buy cute little things and you could decorate them all up, totally personalize them for your team. So hang on, let me get my mix and I'll show you what I went to Target to buy that I never knew I needed. go. This is the party mix that I make. Um, and I really wanted, when we have our football games, parties, and when we have people over, everybody likes to pick their words. I have lots, so many words. And I wanted the one that said squad, but because we had the Colts game here yesterday, my squad one's dirty because somebody chose it. So I just go home. But this is the party mix that we have um, when we have football games, if we don't have caramel corn. So it's got Ritz Bits, it's got candy corn, it's got pretzels, and then at Target, they have footballs. Candy footballs. Look, my hands are not dirty because I washed them right before I did this. So they're a tiny bit dirty. My husband will eat it, he won't care. Let me find some of the other footballs. Look how cute they are. Look, candy footballs. So on the ones that I made, I took the footballs and I put them right on the top. How cute are those? It has fall colored M&Ms. Did I say the M&Ms? So I'm not going to be giving this recipe out to a million people because um, I share my card designs. I'm not going to um, be sharing recipes. I have too much to do to share recipes with everybody. So here's what I'll do. If you buy baker's boxes from me from now until the end of October, when you buy the baker's box, I will send you a recipe card that has my a football party mix recipe. Um, or if you come to my camp, when you come to camp, all the camp girls will be making the baker's box and they will be filling their box because this will be our snack at October camp, so that you'll all get the recipe. Um, or if you are one of my demonstrators, you can have the recipe. But is that not just cute as can be? I think all of my M&Ms have sunk to the bottom, but that's okay. Um, in the past, when the Colts were good, you know, we bought blue and white M&Ms. So if your team is really good, 
if you care to invest in the M&Ms that are your team colors, that would even be cuter. So if your team makes it to the Super Bowl, go all out and buy team M&M colors. Or you know, if your high school makes it to state, which our high school did last year. So this is our braided linen trim. And it would, I, now, if I was going to take these somewhere, I would tie them. If I was going to serve them at my house, I probably would just stick the tag on and I wouldn't have needed to punch the hole in it. So that's kind of up to you too. If you're serving them at your house, if you're taking a dessert to stamp camp, um, then you might want to tie them. So it, they hold together pretty well. You can see it's not popping back open. But it's, it just kind of depends on, oh, I did that the wrong direction because I'm talking. I want this to go under so it doesn't cover up my words. But if you're going to transport them, the ribbon, I think, not only adds a cute element. If you, Obviously, if you're doing them for a fundraiser, if you're putting anything in here to sell, ribbon is a necessity. Now that I pulled the ribbon out, it closed my hole up. the ribbon will keep them closed but if you're serving them at your home you could just attach the party time with a glue dot so before our recent color refresh um, my daughter's high school colors were purple and white and we didn't have a great purple and so I had held on to a retired color Concord crush and I still have paper and some ribbon I have some some stockpile of Concord Crush. So sometimes if there's a color that's your school color or your team color and it's an in color, by all means stock up. And so there's some stuff today. There's ribbon over on the um, clearance corner. And I got a bunch of ribbon this morning because there is like, there's, um, oh, there's all, old olive, there was some silver, there was some green, and when it's super cheap, then I like to use it like on my Christmas presents and I don't feel guilty if I will use giant and huge amounts of beautiful ribbon on my Christmas presents and wrap around the whole things. Um, I am, we had some of our in color markers and then when my nephews come into my office and they want to use the real thing, they can use the real thing because they're using there's also some ink spots over there. There were, last I looked, which, you know, if you've been watching some of my Stamparatus videos, um, it's a great time to pick up some ink spots to use for the Stamparatus because they're on the clearance quarter. So there you go. How cute are those? Are those just not adorable? And look, they would be super cute to set your table. Just imagine a table full of these when your party starts. You will be the hostess with the mostest. So, there you go. Again, if you want the recipe, you're going to have to either be a demonstrator on my team, which I would love to have you, because um, I will tell you, um, I do art challenges. I don't just do business challenges, because I know a lot of girls sign up just because they like the art of Stampin' Up. And this month, um, we're doing our art challenge is the baker's boxes, so you can come up with the most creative way to use them. Um, so, if you're a demonstrator on my team, you will get the recipe. Um, or if you come to camp, you'll get the recipe. Or if you buy the baker's boxes between now and October 30th of 2018. But I will be on this vacation for 10 days in October. So if you buy it while I'm on vacation, you're going to have to wait till I get home. Um, but I'm not going to just be giving out the recipe because I have more important things to do with my time than just to be recipe person because I'm a stamp person. But I hope you like the boxes and I hope you find in I'm sure you can Google lots of party mix recipes. So there's other um, way fun things you can. How about if you make a winter one? Here's another idea, you know, because this is how my mind, it just explodes with ideas all the time. Do them blue with snowflakes and put checks Muddy Buddies in it. We can all do Muddy Buddies and have the white Muddy Buddies in there with a little snowman on the corner. There you go. That's a free one. Have a great day. Bye.